So Samsung is on the launching spree and has announced about six, seven smartphones in the past few months. We got three different S series smartphones and three different M series smartphones, and now it has announced the A series as well. It's in the mid segment. It's between the budget M series and the flagship S series, and the pricing is also going to be very similar. The phone I have with me is the Galaxy A50, and we're going to unbox and take a look at all the specs of this phone in this video. So. You're watching here today, Tech. I'm Rahul Sethi, and let's begin this. So, the Galaxy A50 is going to be priced for about 20,000 rupees for the starting variant, and that is quite a surprising price tag for this smartphone. We were expecting it to be priced around 30,000 rupees because the specifications of the smartphone is such it has an in display fingerprint scanner, which is quite a nice thing to have in this price segment from Samsung. There's a triple camera setup at the back, Infinity U display that you get on the M series as well. And there is a 25 megapixel front camera as well on the device, which is quite nice. This is the base variant that has 4 gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of storage. We're gonna take a look at the full specifications. But right now, let's quickly unbox this, the smartphone. And as you will notice, the box packaging is very similar to that of the Galaxy S10. We have a small box on stuck inside the cover of the box that has a quick start guide and the regional log guide plus the warranty card and a case which is a flexible one but nonetheless bundled with the smartphone which is quite nice. Then we have the phone itself. Let me keep it aside and take a look at the other box contents. There is a charger black in color that has an output rating of 15 watts. This is the same charger we are seeing in almost every smartphone above 30,000 rupees from Samsung. It is a fast charger, but not as fast as OnePlus's dash charger or other chargers that you get with Warner smartphones. But anyways, this is the cable that is not very long, but fairly good in quality. It's a Type-C USB cable, as you can see, and is bundled with the smartphone. Next, we have earphones as well with the box which is not present on the M series. Now these are not any amazing headphones, these are very basic ones and as you can see they're not in-ear type and the quality is very average. Also you don't get any mounted volume controls, this is just a call control button and a microphone so that you can use it for voice calls. Lastly there is a SIM ejector tool and now let's get down to the phone. Now if you go around the smartphone, you'll notice it has a 3.5mm audio jack, Type-C micro USB port, a primary microphone and speakers. And at the top, you get the secondary microphone for noise cancellation. At the back, you get a triple camera setup with a single LED flash. And on the right, you get volume rocker and lock button. So the overall design is very similar to the M series, but it's only slightly thinner. If you compare it with phones like the M30, you'll see it's lighter and has a much slimmer ergonomics. So it's quite comfortable to hold and use with one hand and gives a very nice feel. And another major difference is the fact that it has what Samsung calls a glass thick body, which means that it's totally fully made out of opaque plastic. You have a glass like back, which is again plastic nonetheless, but it looks slightly premium in comparison to like the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M2 or the Realme 2 Pro, which have a very similar design, but the Galaxy A50 looks slightly more polished. Anyways, lastly, we have the SIM tray, which also has a very similar design as the M20, a triple slot tray that allows you to expand the storage and add two SIM cards. All right, now I've set up the smartphone and just because of the display and the software, the experience that A50 offers is very similar to what the Samsung flagships try to offer. I mean, as you can see, the icons appear floating on the screen and the display has such a great viewing angles, contrast and sharpness. Let me go to the about phone and show you the exact software information of the phone. It's the One UI 1.1 and it's built on top of Android 9. So there are features like the digital well-being that tell you how much time you have been using the smartphone. 
and if you want to set any limitations to your phone usage and there are plenty of other things that are added in the new UI. You can reduce the size of the icons if they are appearing to be very big but the fact that this UI is much more user friendly in comparison to the previous experience UI that Samsung had on its smartphones makes the A50 quite a nice proposition. Also the phone has an in display fingerprint scanner which is quite nice and let us set it up quickly and now it does take a while to open the smartphone it's not as fast as physical fingerprint scanners but it's a great technology nonetheless you get a front facing fingerprint scanner without any compromises which is quite nice now compared to the galaxy s10 this is an optical sensor on the s series phones they are the ultrasonic sensors so they're obviously quite fast and more accurate this in comparison is slower and may work 8 out of 10 times that we'll have to see but let me clear this that the technology is not same anyways there's face recognition also on the device and that also takes its sweet time to unlock the smartphone anyways now let's take a look at the color production of this smartphone by playing a youtube video so the m50 has quite a nice display you will see it has very sharp color reproduction and it is a very bright panel the black levels are deep as you can see and the contrast and the viewing angles on this phone as you have seen before also are quite good. So it's all in all a great panel on a phone at this price point and it can any day rival phones like the OnePlus 6T. Now let's take a look at the front and the rear camera of this smartphone. It has a 25 megapixel camera at the front and the back also it has a similar resolution on the primary sensor. If you talk about the selfies, you'll see the phone captures good details and there is very little noise in most of the photographs. It's not as amazing as what you would expect of a 25 megapixel camera usually. But then again, even in low light situations, the phone is able to capture crisp shots. Although the shutter is not very fast and many of the times the photo may come out to be blurred. So you need a very steady hand to capture a sharp photo in extreme low light situations but otherwise it's a nice camera similar is the case with the rear camera it is able to capture good shots in good light situations in tricky lighting it does lack good dynamic range and the color production is not very amazing as you would expect of a 25 megapixel camera but then again at this price point it is quite nice here are some more shots taken from the wide angle camera So overall, the Galaxy A50 appears to be quite a nice phone from Samsung and it's in a long while we have seen a phone to give this kind of experience at 20,000 rupees. This is definitely out of the box. I can say that it is a smartphone you can buy right away from Samsung like was the case with the M20. Although we are yet to test the camera and performance of this device. So that is something you need to stay tuned and watch out for. Otherwise, my first impressions of A50 is very nice. It's an overall a great smartphone to have. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and share it with your friends. Subscribe to our channel to get latest videos on technology, smartphones and other gadgets like this. Thank you for watching.